Yesterday, the President gave us once again evidence that he does not know right from wrong. It's a very sad thing, very sad thing that he does not know right from wrong. I believe that he has been involved in a criminal cover-up. I've said that before, and our investigation is demonstrating that. The Mueller report showed obstruction of justice in ten, at least 10, perhaps 11 places. But for the president to be so cavalier, to disregard, to be indifferent to law and any sense of ethics about who we are as a country to say he would invite foreign intervention further. The uh, intelligence community with uh, great confidence has put forth that the Russians interfered, interfered in our election. That's an assault on our democracy. An assault on our democracy, this president says, it's a hoax. He supposed that he takes an oath to protect and defend the Constitution, uh, but I guess it doesn't include him in terms of being uh, uh, to be held accountable to obey the law. So we have an, a, a, a package that we're putting forth in light of the uh, uh, Mueller report, a package of legislation, duty report. If someone comes to you for uh, mandating that campaigns report foreign op offers of assistance, it shouldn't even, I mean, it's, it's so self-evident as a matter of ethics, but we'll have to uh, codify it, mandating a duty to report uh, for campaign uh, uh, campaigns reporting foreign interventions in our elections, protecting our elections with paper ballot. That's our election security bill that Zoe Lofgren is working on, and she is uh, working with the Senate, hoping to have bipartisan uh, support in the House for our legislation to protect our electoral system. Uh, closing foreign money loopholes, that's Mr. Sarbanes' bill post uh, the Mueller report. And Mr. He Mr. Thompson will be having a a hearing in the Homeland Security Committee about preventing foreign disinformation. That is um, just a sample of some of the things that will, will be out there.